So the other day we ended up unboxing this new iPhone just here. Now I'm going to be making my full review on this and the new Series 9 Apple Watch pretty soon. However, if you want basically my rundown thoughts of the unboxing was that I was very surprised about the build quality of this phone. I thought it was a lot better than I was expecting. However, obviously there's been some tests done. The bigger model, I'm not too sure about the smaller model, but the bigger one definitely has some issues in terms of its, you know, build quality and such so it's not necessarily the best thing to go for possibly sticking with this one might be the better bet but also not you know doing that might also be another good choice now i've been using this apple watch here not really all the time now i use this for about a month straight when i first got it i think a lot of people can probably you know sit under the same category as that you end up using your apple watch for quite a little bit and then you just completely stop using it for me that's because i also love um, actual watches so for me i've got a load of them now not very expensive watches however i've got a load of different ones and it kind of meant that this just sat to the sidelines however i want to incorporate it into my life especially since getting this phone for one reason and that is that i think i'll get better battery life when i am using a apple watch and phone combo instead of just using my phone to do most things when it comes to, let's say, reading messages, replying to messages, and just pretty quick basic tasks that I can get done on an Apple Watch. Now, for me, I will always recommend to every single person, if you want an Apple Watch that's cheaper and basically gives you almost all the same features as most of the Apple Watch lineup, get a Series 5. A Series 5 Apple Watch will do the trick. It's a very good watch all round. However, I wanted to upgrade this year uh, for multiple reasons uh, when it comes to the looks from that all the way through to just wanting a different strap, not paying £100 extra when I could just get it with a watch. And then also just extra changes and that sort of thing. So overall, I'll go through some of these other bits later on, but let's get into the actual unboxing experience. I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the iPhone unboxing, which is it's a very good thing that a lot of these companies don't know what a Apple product box looks like. I worked in tech for a very long time. It basically meant that I'm very, very aware of what a um, Apple Watch box looks like, what an iPhone box looks like, what a Mac box looks like and all that sort of thing. But here you go. Here is the Apple Watch itself. Now, obviously, case is not too special, nothing about it. It's one of the big things that they went on about for quite a while within the showcase, how this is the first carbon neutral Apple Watch, which obviously is a big deal to quite a few people. Uh, however, I do think they went on a little bit too much about uh, carbon neutrality in this showcase, but I think that's just due to the uh, lack of anything else that they really had to talk about. Now, yep, you get the typical opening experience of an Apple Watch, where you've got all the different things with the braided loops and all this sort of thing. Pretty cool, but obviously it's not really anything too special. It's just something that Apple do well. They always do their packaging very nice and sleek. So I ended up going for the Starlight Apple Watch, a 45mm, because uh, I had a 44mm previously, so I didn't really see the point in getting a smaller one. I also went for this braided loop strap, something that I've wanted for a very long time. I've gone on about it to my family uh, for like the last two years or so. Like It's something that I've been interested in getting pretty much ever since I saw an Ali Abdul video once, ages ago. I wanted the lighter blue however you can't this is the only one available now so it's going to be the one i go for for a few reasons not just because i think it looks cool but the other big one is that i hate this i hate this mainly because yes sure i can now go and swim with it but i rarely go swimming for one i might end up getting another one maybe getting one of these just for like just in case scenarios for swimming but the other big one is that I get a bad heat rash and this activates it so much if I start sweating with this on. So yeah, it's definitely not the one for me anyway. But let's open up the actual watch itself. There we have it. Wrong way round for me. Uh, but there you go. So typical Apple Watch. Again, there's nothing really that changes. That might be a change though. Um, I know that the new iPhone came with a braided cable and this one appears to have a braided cable again as well. I don't know if the last generation, so the Series 8 did or not. I think the Apple Watch Ultra did. However, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, the fact that these are all braided is a great thing for anyone who actually cares about not having to replace their like Apple Watch thing. I know that I could have probably just taken that off a lot smoother, but oh well. Because the big issue for a lot of Apple like cables and stuff is that this bit here will snap very easily when it's braided it's less likely to do that it also means they won't get tangled up anywhere near as easily so yeah again braided cable looks very nice 
and definitely is something that um, a lot of people will value. I kind of wish that these cables came in like specific colors. So for example, with the Pro model, because I know they do different colors sometimes, I believe anyway. And the, like, the one that came with this phone, I felt like was a hint of blue. Whereas this is definitely a lot more whiter. That could just be me when it came to the iPhone and thinking that's what it was. But here you go, the actual bit that uh, people are here for, the actual Apple Watch itself. So yeah, like I said, I went for Starlight uh, for one main reason. And that is, I wanted an Apple Watch that meant that when I want to wear other things, like, you know, that isn't just being active... It doesn't look like a black box on the side of my wrist. Because that's one thing that I kind of got put off with. With the, um, you know, with the Series 5 that I had. I had the um, Space Grey version. It meant that I just didn't want to wear it out, really. And this way, I actually have something that looks a little bit more nicer. That you can wear with different outfits and that sort of thing. And it will actually look like it's a bit more smarter. Whereas, like I said, this thing... It's just black entirely, and it's even right now trying to reset itself because I got a new where I got the new phone. Uh, yeah, it's just basically in like it's lost feature right now. But yeah, it just doesn't look nice. It looks like it is just a black box for nothing, and especially when like for example it enters into low power mode and that sort of thing, and then the screen goes off entirely. It's not nice. Whereas this, at least, you've got a little bit of nice colouring here. I've also got the new braided cable. It's basically going to make the overall thing look a lot nicer. Now, with this one, though, the big reason why I said that, to be honest, I would still recommend the Series 5 to a lot of people over, let's say, Series 9, buying this, like, brand new, is for one big reason. And that is because this basically has almost all the same features as every single Apple Watch that has come out over the last like four or five years. The only big change that we've actually seen this year um, was the pinch, um, you know, feature. The new feature that's a pinch. I don't believe necessarily that to be a, you know, too big of a deal. I think, yes, it's probably going to be helpful for some, but I think for most people, it's rarely going to be used. Um, but on top of that, I honestly just don't really feel like it's a new feature like we've seen a lot of people talk about it's something that wasn't new it's been in accessibility features however what apple claim is that the chip watch which is in this is the powerful version that allows it to work better so it's more responsive than you would typically have on previous models so we'll see if that's true uh, over time with more tests and so on happening but yeah as you can see i really like this color i think it's just a lot more um, sleek a lot nicer and it, i think it will just fit a lot nicer as an actual like wrist like an actual watch i feel like watches are meant to be you know something nice for you to wear they aren't meant to be something that you basically want to take off the moment you get home now as i mentioned i ended up getting this strap now i wanted this one for ages as i said and yeah i'm really happy that i could say that i finally got it and that i can actually wear a strap that's hopefully not going to completely make me want to just rip it off every single two seconds here you go so it's the blue braided cable it definitely looks nice and that's another thing as well is that at least this time i can actually you know get this without feeling as if um you know it's going to be useless because on my old watch uh the strap was completely just not working uh i couldn't take one side off i could take the other one off but i couldn't take this one off but yeah this is stretchy so it just goes around your wrist pretty easily now when i did this test a while ago about a half a year ago i was a size 7 which is this I don't know why this just doesn't feel right, but I guess that does look about correct. So that should that should be perfectly all good. So we'll just test it out now, see how it goes on. There you go. So yeah, basically, yeah, it just fits very nice and snug. It's not too, like, tight or anything like that for me. Um, as you can see, like, it is basically perfect. It's not really, like, pushing in on the sides. I've got a watch right now that is basically my justification for losing weight because I used to be able to wear it on this wrist all the time and it sat perfectly. It was literally my perfect watch. And ever since I gained weight over, like, the last year, it meant that I've been unable to wear it because it's so tight that you can see, like, it pinching in on my skin, everything like that. But, yep, this is basically a nice, snug watch. I think I'll have to get used to it, because I would say that it's still slightly, ever so slightly, a bit more tighter than I was expecting. However, again, this does stretch, so if I do need to, I guess I can just pull at it, and eventually it will loosen. So, it's not too bad. Overall, the unboxing experience of a Series 9 Apple Watch is basically the same as every single year. The only big changes when it comes to this year's model is basically the pinch. 
Then the change in chipset, which is going to happen every single year. We've got the same one within the Ultra. I was tempted with the Ultra at one point, but to be honest, I can't justify it to myself as much as it's a very nice looking watch. I don't, or at least I can't justify spending that sort of money on a watch when I could just spend it on this S9 in a, you know, more um, high quality build instead and it looks a bit more sleeker to wear but overall like i said not much change generally speaking you've got the carbon neutrality which is cool it's the first carbon neutral product that they've ever made uh which again it's cool however i wish they spent a little bit less time talking about it in the event and like i said earlier i will be making a video about this and as well as that this one right here in basically a week's time which will go over my first week's experience which i've already got some thoughts on this phone especially as a pro max user going down to a pro um, and then i will also talk about the series 9 uh, apple watch as i intend to basically wear it on a daily basis track my sleep with it and do all that sort of thing so if you are interested in those videos make sure to subscribe to the channel and as well as that if you want to go follow me over on instagram that'll be linked down below or you can just search adam underscore tech underscore uh yeah it's very annoying i kind of wish i could have got adam's tech but uh sadly i couldn't so yeah if you want to go check that one out make sure to go do so you basically get shorts of this cooler photos and i'll probably do more like update esque things on things like the stories features and all that sort of thing so for future videos uh yeah i can basically use you guys as suggestions for future things topics and that sort of things to discuss so yeah if that interests you make sure to go follow that one i'm basically going to be uploading now two days a week on this channel uh, for the foreseeable future uh, try and grow this channel a little bit more so if you are interested in joining me for that make sure to subscribe and if you are interested in more tech videos everything like that and more things like unboxing videos let me know down below in the comments and leave a like on this video to help it get pushed in the algorithm with that all being said hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one